Today's story is A Birthday for Francis by Russell Hoban, pictures by Lillian Hoban. And today is one of my granddaughter's birthday. She's turning four years old. Happy birthday, Rue. I love you so much. And don't worry, my other grandchildren, I will be wishing you a happy birthday on your special day, too. Love you. It was the day before Francis's little sister, Gloria's birthday. Mother and Gloria were sitting at the kitchen table, making place cards for the party. Francis was in the broom closet, singing, Happy Thursday to you, happy Thursday to you, happy Thursday, dear Alice, happy Thursday to you. Who is Alice? asked Mother. Alice is somebody that nobody can see, said Francis, and that is why she does not have a birthday, so I am singing happy Thursday to her. Today is Friday, said Mother. It is Thursday for Alice, said Francis. Alice will not have H-R-N-D, and she will not have G-K-L-S, but we are singing together. What are H-R-N-D and G-K-L-S, asked Mother. Cake and candy. I thought you could spell, said Francis. I am sure that Alice will have cake and candy on her birthday, said Mother. But Alice does not have a birthday, said Francis. Hmm, I wonder if Francis is a little bothered that it's Gloria's birthday and not hers. What do you think? Yes, she does, said Mother, even if nobody can see her. Alice has one birthday every year, and so do you. Your birthday is two months from now. Then you will be the birthday girl. But tomorrow is Gloria's birthday, and she will be the birthday girl. That is how it is, Alice, said Francis. Your birthday is always the one that is not now. Francis, said Mother, wouldn't you and Alice like to come out of the broom closet and help us make place cards for the party? Francis came to the table and sat down and picked up a crayon. What are you putting on the place cards? she asked. Pretty flowers, said Gloria. Rainbows and happy trees. Frances began to draw on a place card, and as she drew, she sang. A rainbow and a happy tree are not for Alice or for me. I will draw three-legged cats and caterpillars with ugly hats. Frances stopped singing. I'm telling, she said. Telling what, said Mother. Gloria kicked me under the table, said Francis. Mean Francis, said Gloria. Gloria is mean, said Francis. She hid my sand pail and my shovel, and I never got them back. That was last year, said Mother. When Gloria is mean, it was always last year, said Francis. But me and Alice know S-M-F-O. What is S-M-F-O? asked Mother. Better, said Francis. Goodbye. I will be out of town visiting Alice for two weeks, and I will be back for dinner. She went to the broom closet and took out her favorite broom. Let's go, champ, she said. I'm ready to ride. Francis climbed onto the broom and galloped out of the kitchen while Mother and Gloria finished the place cards. Then Gloria went out to play while Mother wrapped her presents in the living room. Francis was riding back and forth on her broom on the porch, and as she rode, she sang a song for Alice. Everybody makes a fuss for birthday girls who are not us. Girls who take your pail away, eat cake and QPM all day. Is QPM ice cream? Mother asked Francis through the window. Yes, said Francis. She climbed up on one of the porch rocking chairs and looked through the window at the boxes Mother was wrapping. What is Gloria getting from you and from Father for her birthday? asked Francis. A paint box and a tea set and a plush pig, said Mother. I am not going to give Gloria any present, 
said Francis. That is all right, said Mother, and Francis began to cry. What is the matter? said Mother. Why are you crying? Everybody is giving Gloria a present but me, said Francis. Would you like to give Gloria a present? said Mother. Yes, said Francis. If I had my next two allowances, I would have a nickel and two pennies and another nickel and two pennies, and I could buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. I think it is very nice of you to want to give Gloria a birthday present, said Mother, and she gave Francis her next two allowances. That evening, Father took Francis to the candy store to buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. As they walked home, Francis said to Father, Are you sure that it is all right for Gloria to have a whole chompo bar? Maybe she is too young for that kind of candy. Maybe it will make her sick. Well, said Father, I do not think it would be good for Gloria to eat chompo bars every day, but tomorrow is her birthday, and I think it will be all right for her to eat one. Frances thought about Gloria and the chompo bar, and while she thought, she put two of the bubblegum balls into her mouth without noticing it. She chewed the bubblegum and squeezed the chompo bar a little. Chompo bars have a soft nougat part inside, said Frances, and there is a chewy caramel part around that, and the outside is chocolate with nuts. Probably Gloria could not eat more than half of one. Gloria loves sweets. Said Father, and I am sure that she can eat the whole chompo bar. That is why it is such a good present for her, and you were very nice to think of it. Yes, said Francis, and I spent two allowances on Gloria. While Francis was thinking about the two allowances, she put the other two balls of bubble gum into her mouth and chewed them, and she squeezed the chompo bar and sang. Chompo bars are nice to get. Chompo bars taste better yet when there's someone else's. You would not eat Gloria's chompo bar, would you? said Father. It is not Gloria's yet, said Francis. I can hardly understand what you are saying, said Father. Is there something in your mouth? I think maybe there is bubble gum, said Francis. But I don't remember how it got there. Maybe I should take care of the chompo bar until you are ready to give it to Gloria, said Father. All right, said Francis, and she gave the chompo bar to Father to take care of. The next day was Gloria's birthday, and the party was that afternoon. The cake was ready, the table was all set, and Mother was making hot chocolate. There were little baskets of gumdrops and chocolate covered peanuts for everybody. There were place cards and party poppers for mother and father, for Francis and Gloria, for Gloria's friend Ida, and for Francis's friend Albert. Albert was the first friend to arrive, and he and Francis sat down in the living room while they were waiting for Ida. What are you giving Gloria? Francis asked Albert. A little tiny truck in a little tiny box, said Albert. The kind that costs fifty cents? asked Francis. That's right, said Albert. But my mother gave me the money for it. I am thinking of giving Gloria a chompo bar, said Francis, but I am not sure. I might and I might not. I had to spend almost two whole allowances on it. That is how it is when it's your own sister, said Albert. I had to spend my allowance money on my little sister when she had a birthday. I gave her a yo yo, but she is not high enough off the ground for a yo yo, so I get to use it. Little sisters are not much RVSM, said Francis. Good, said Albert. That's right, said Francis. No, they are not, said Albert. They can't catch. They can't throw. When you play hide and seek, they always hide in places where part of them is sticking out. They take your sand pail and your shovel too," said Francis. "They pull the button eyes off dolls that have button eyes. They break your crayons so there are no long ones left in the box. They put water in your mud pies when you don't want them to. I don't think many of them deserve a chompo bar." 
You can't use a chapo bar over and over like a yo-yo," said Albert. "One time and it's gone. You should at least get part of it." "That's right," said Francis. "Here is Ida now," said Mother, "and the party can begin." "When are the presents?" said Gloria, as they all sat down at the places where their place cards were. First, said Father, your mother will bring out the cake, and I will light the candles. Then we will sing Happy Birthday to you. Then you make a wish and blow out all the candles. Then you get your presents. I know what to wish," said Gloria. "Don't tell it," said Ida. "It won't come true if you do," said Albert. "Here comes the cake," said Mother. She put it on the table, and Father lit the candles. Then everybody sang "Happy Birthday to You." Francis did not sing the words that the others were singing. Very softly, so that nobody could hear her, she sang, "Happy Champo to me is how it ought to be. Happy Champo to Francis. Happy Champo to me." Now," said Mother to Gloria, "make your wish and blow out the candles." I want to tell my wish," said Gloria. "No, no," said Mother and Father, and Francis and Albert and Ida. "Just say it inside your head and blow out the candles," said Albert. Gloria said her wish inside her head and blew out all the candles at once. "Hooray!" said everybody. Now your wish will come true," said Mother. "This is what I wished," said Gloria. "I wish that Frances would be nice and not be mad at me because I hid her sand pail and shovel last year. And I am sorry, and I will be nice." She told," said Ida. "Now her wish won't come true." "I think it will come true," said Mother. Because it is a special kind of good wish that can make itself come true. Well," said Francis to Gloria, "I think your wish will come true too, and I have a present for you, and I owe you four balls of bubble gum." Now is it time for the presents?" said Gloria. "Yes," said Father. Father and Mother gave Gloria the paint box and the tea set and the plush pig. Albert gave her the little tiny truck. Ida gave her a little china baby doll. Frances had wrapped the chompo bar in pretty paper and tied it with a ribbon, and now she got ready to give it to Gloria. What is it? asked Gloria. It is something good to eat, said Frances, and I will give it to you in a minute. But first, I will sing Happy Birthday to you because I did not really sing it before. Happy birthday to you," sang Frances, and she squeezed the chompo bar. "Happy birthday to you!" Then she stopped and rested a little. "You can have a bite when I get it," said Gloria. Frances took a deep breath and finished the song. "Happy birthday, dear Gloria! Happy birthday to you!" Here. Said Frances. She squeezed the chompo bar one last time and gave it to Gloria. "You can eat it all because you are the birthday girl," said Frances. "Thank you," said Gloria, as she quickly unwrapped the chompo bar. "This is a good present," and she ate it all because she was the birthday girl.